If you're looking for the secret meta PvP Warlock build on the Crucible right now, then stay tuned, because today I'm going to reveal the new dominant Warlock loadout that you won't want to miss out on. Don't get confused fiddling around with different subclasses, aspects, or fragments. Today, I'm going to take you by the hand and give you a plug-and-play build that you can start using immediately to dominate your foes in the Crucible, all in 9 minutes or less. Let's get started. If you've been paying attention to the PvP landscape, you may have noticed that everyone is holding hands, team shooting, and blasting order rifles like they're in an Expendables movie. And so my focus has been crafting builds that are designed to punish handholders and to exploit their very predictable patterns. Last week you may have seen my Night Stalker Geo Falcons build, and if you enjoyed that, today I'm presenting the Warlock equivalent, the rarely seen but vastly underrated Stormcaller. See, what people don't realize about Ark Warlock is that it's one of the few subclasses that is quite literally designed from the ground up to mutilate groups of opponents. Their entire kit with Jolt quietly literally relies on people being grouped up and close together. As in, Jolt literally doesn't work unless people are hand-holding. And it positively shocks me that people haven't caught on to the fact that the recent changes have propelled Arc Lock back into the meta conversation. For example, just look at the Lightning Surge melee. It literally becomes more effective the more people that are grouped up because it jolts between everybody. But not only that, I'm going to let you in on a little secret that is going to surprise you. Everyone recognizes how strong Void Titan is, right? Because the overshields effectively nerf your weapon damage by extending their TTK. If your weapon can kill in 1 second normally, then it takes 1.5 seconds if you're shooting a Void Titan because of the extra HP from the overshield. Now everyone's like, oh gosh, that is so overpowered, blah blah blah. But did you know that Arc Warlock is quite literally the only class in the entire game that can have a weapon damage boost up 100% of the time? A very special weapon damage boost that will instantly delete Void Titan overshields. Let me show you how. This is of course where the Warlock Exotic Getaway Artist comes in. When you have Getaway Artist equipped, consuming any grenade will summon a supercharged Arc Soul with a faster rate of fire doing 55 damage per burst, which is literally huge. I mean to put it into perspective, it literally insta deletes a Void Titan Overshield or an Arc Titan Juggernaut Shield. A Getaway Artist Arc Soul is basically a normal Arc soul with all of the same benefits but on horse steroids. But see here's the thing that changed with Getaway Artist with the introduction of Arc 3.0. Consuming a grenade will also amplify you on demand, increasing your weapon handling, sprint speed and perhaps most importantly it will quite literally supercharge a very specific weapon that synergizes perfectly with this build which we're going to cover off in a second. And to make things even better, whenever your supercharged Arc Soul damages an enemy it also gives you free grenade energy which feeds into the gameplay loop even more. It's crazy that nobody's talking about this, and aimbot on steroids is basically tagging your opponents for 55 damage every single engagement. It drastically lowers the TTK of all automatic weapons to ludicrous levels and massively increases the forgiveness of virtually all of your guns, while at the same time giving you a speed and handling boost while amplified. And this is all on demand 100% of the time in game once you get the hang of it. Now here's the stuff that's not as well known. Your Arc Soul is up for about 20 seconds, but the time resets when you pop a rift or re-enter your rift. In other words, you can have your arc soul up for 19 seconds, then pop a rift and refresh the timer back to 20 seconds. Then you can have some engagements and re-enter your rift to refresh it again back up to 20 seconds. In other words, when you learn to manage the timing and cooldowns, you should have a supercharged arc soul up pretty much the entire game. Now this build is quite literally usable with any weapon combination, but let me show you the weapon that will take this to another level. But first, just quickly, settle a very important debate for me. Would you rather be six foot four and poor or five foot four and rich? Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll pick one person to carry to the lighthouse this week and enter them in a draw to win this beautiful emblem. Don't forget also to drop a like and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more builds from me. As a small creator, it means the world to me, so thank you. Okay, on to weapons. You may have noticed that auto rifles are very much the meta weapon archetype right now, but what's interesting is that 450 RPM auto rifles are about to be nerfed. And while everyone might be focusing on 600 RPMs now like Summoner, they've overlooked an outrageous meta contender in the centrifuge. See, here's the thing. The centrifuge auto rifle gains extra range and reload speed relative to its charge. And when you kill someone with a high charge, they will explode, destroying people around them. 
Not only that, if you kill someone with your centrifuge at maximum charge, then the explosion will also blind everyone in a nearby radius. Think of it like a primary weapon cloud strike sniper. But see, here's the thing. Normally the charge meter on centrifuge usually only goes up when you're moving around or shooting, which can be a little bit annoying as it forces you to constantly be on the move and play aggressively. But if you have the exotic catalyst, it will pretty much go to max and stay at max if you're amplified. But here's the thing. Arc Lock with Getaway Artist is literally the only class in the game which can amplify themselves on demand. That means you can play as fast or as slow as you want, walking around with the max range, blinding explosion centrifuge, pretty much all of the time, armed and ready to drop a nuke on unsuspecting hand-holding opponents. Now, in terms of aspects, you'll want to equip the following aspects, Lightning Surge and Arc Soul. The Lightning Surge aspect means that while sliding, activating your charged melee ability causes you to blink forward, calling down lightning strikes at jolt targets as you materialize. Lightning Surge is an amazing tool for getting free picks on opponents or finishing groups of wounded opponents. Now, as for the Arc Soul aspect, casting your Rift creates an Arc Soul that fires at targets in front of you. Allies can pass through your Rift and also get an Arc Soul, and your Rift charges faster when allies are near. While amplified, your Arc Souls are supercharged and gain increased fire rate. Arc Souls are a little blue ball that hover around you and shoot nearby enemies, but when using Getaway Artists, consuming your grenade will instead create a supercharged Arc Soul. Now it's important to remember that to get the supercharged Arc Soul, you must consume your grenade. Casting your Rift will not give you the supercharged version, but as mentioned before, casting a Rift while you have your supercharged Arc Soul up will refresh the timer. So just remember it this way, grenades are for creating supercharged Arc Souls, Rifts are for extending them. Now the normal arc soul shoots a three burst shot causing a total of 33 damage but with getaway artist you'll be doing 55 damage instead these supercharged arc souls increase the forgiveness of all of your weapons by automatically taking away almost 20 percent of your enemy's health bar or they downright decrease the ttk of your weapons to almost ludicrous levels now as for fragments you'll want to use spark of resistance which gives you 10 percent damage resist when around three or more players which is very useful for aggressive pushes with lightning surge and close quarter engagements in general especially given how people tend to clump up and hold hands a lot more now. Spark of Feedback, which increases melee damage after receiving a melee. This is an excellent fragment which will save your life many times in close quarter situations. Spark of Volts, which grants plus 10 recovery and provides a useful stat buff. And Spark of Recharge, which increases your ability regeneration by 200% when in critical health to make sure that we get our abilities back even sooner. Just quickly before we cover off the rest of the builds, are you struggling with PvP or going flawless in general? Join my Patreon and get amazing benefits like weekly trials cards with me as well as crucible coaching sessions you'll also get access to a private vip community full of chill cracked pvp players to also help you go flawless and achieve your pvp goals in terms of abilities what you use is largely up to personal preference but the only important thing to remember is to always equip flashbang grenades in your grenade slot as flashbangs have the lowest cooldown which is very important for maximizing the uptime of your supercharged arc souls as they rely on consuming your grenade because it doesn't matter which type of grenade you consume, the faster the cooldown of your grenade, the more arc souls you get. That being said, if you manage your arc souls properly, as we talked about, you should pretty much always have a grenade up ready to consume. In terms of your melee ability though, I do recommend Chain Lightning as that will allow you to get your lightning surge melees more often. And as for the rift, I strongly recommend using healing rifts as any form of healing is very overpowered in the current meta. In terms of mods, I recommend using targeting, dexterity, fastball, unflinching, holster, and bomber times three. Stats wise, you'll want to prioritize recovery and discipline in that order and ideally you would have a hundred in each. To make things easier for you, you can also just check out the dim link below for the getaway artist build which I'm currently using with ArcLock. Alright, if you enjoyed the video and you're looking to play Trials this weekend, don't forget to check out my best Trials builds videos over here. Much love and I'll see you all in the Crucible.